what is up guys welcome to another video dad geeky guy here and today we'll be unboxing an arcane rising booster box because as you guys might already heard arcane rising is going out of print so what else is better than actually cracking a box open for the video thought this might be a good way to actually show some tribute to the arcane rising one of the set that actually um introduced the arcane uh you know arcane stuff and things like that also the first set that actually introduced the rune blade class so the reason why arcane rising is very sought after is because of an equipment called the arcanite skull cap um, which is a generic head uh, helmet which allows you to block for two and also this set does contain cards such as uh, art of war command and conquer and i guess those are some of the key cards so you can see why people are kind of freaking out when they say that the arcane rising is going out of print so what i'm going to do here is actually get the packs all out and actually start with the first pack here i'm i guess this is going to be my last arcane rising box ever unless they have some they did mention that it is going to be a uh, stock for another wave so we do have a take aim here a first super rare which is a rapid fire let's just put it here so we have a foil searing shot so this does bring back some memories it, it's been a while since i actually opened a arcane rising pack so it's interesting to see what if we're going to get any good hits today which i'm hoping that at least we get some good majestic like the cnc so we do have an Aether spindle so the Aether win and a foil take it so i'm just gonna put the pile of um, cards to the side i'm just gonna leave all the majestic and super rare on the nice play mat here So we do have a come to fight, a, vis a west of the first fist, a nice ranger defense reaction, which is a take hour, and a lesson of lava. I mean, lesson in lava. So this is a um, Kano specialization for all of you Kano fans out there. We do have a foresight. Oh, next pack. So uh, about three packs in, we got two super rares, which is decent. We are hoping for those spicy majestics. So we do have a now run hood, a take aim again, for the mold, and a nice take cover. So let's go with the next one. Sunkiss, Vigor Rush, Revenous Rebel, Revenous Rebel uh, gaining popularity with the Lightning Briar deck. Out of the Arknight, uh, Enchanting Melody, and our legendary, A Grasp of the Arknight. Unbelievable, guys. We actually pulled an L from this box. What an awesome pull to have. This is an excellent pull. Grasp is such a sought-after equipment because of the uh, popularity of Chain and Briar. So, also it blocks for two, which is awesome. Uh, I have to get a sleeve for that legendary card over there because for the grass, I'm worried that I might damage it. So we do have an Absorbing Eater, Arena Sprayer, and a black Back Alley Brick Line as our foil. What an awesome pool. Pretty exciting. <coughs> Okay, we do have a Foresight push the point, now Rune Boots, a Blue Plunder Run. Blue Plunder Run are played in this Lightning Briar deck too. Uh, in Chains also because it pitches for blue, also it threatens to draw a card every time you play out it. So we do get a Majestic Foil, which is an awesome pull, a Sonic Boom. So this is a Wizard action. Excellent pull right there. So just just quickly go through the rest of the cards 
So let me know down in the comments below if you guys are interested in a Lightning Briar deck tech. So there are already a bunch of um, lists for Lightning Briar because it is a winning deck for the United States Nationals. So life for life. And you can see that it is also very easy to pick up, um, easy to play with. Um, so it is not surprising that people would want to play the deck. It is part of the appeal of the Briar being easy to play. Spark of Genius, excellent card. So, um, so we do get a super rare there. Let's just put the L right here. So we are looking at a Fervent Forerunner, Achilles Accelerator, Aether Spindle, Life or Alive, a blue one, Whisper of the Oracle. Some Earth Briar deck does run this card because it allows the opting. So the opting does help in some situation where you would want to play Tome of the Arc Knight or even Sonata. So Whisper does help in that regard. So we have a Blue Revenant Rebel, uh, Crown of Dichotomy, Oath of the Arc Knight, a Take Aim, and a nice Naurun Hood, a Rainbow Foil. Excellent pull. So, so far this box has been awesome to us. Let's keep going. So we do have a Rope of Rapture, Star of the Aetherwind, and we have a... So this card is rarely played by Dash because what it does is basically um, prevent Arcane uh, damage. As you can see that uh, it is an Arcane Barrier 2. So you don't really see that in uh, lists because uh, Kano is not that prevalent in, in a Classic Constructed. That is... So you don't really see that card being played. Re uh, Yellow Rebel, um, Absorbing Nita, Pedal to the Metal, a Blue Rune Flash. So we do have half a box to open. Rifting, Moonwish, Come to Fight, Narun Hood. Spellblade Assault, a nice moderate tide. So this is a staple in a, a most Viserai decks. I mean, all Viserai decks run moderate tide, so it is un unavoidable. So it's a nice pool to have. So currently we are sitting at um, three super rares, one majestic foil, one majestic non-foil, a nice legendary and a rainbow for now rune hood. We do have a red whisper reduced to rune chan and another super rare which is a ninth blade of the oath. So let's put it there. Do I have a foil come to fight? Let's keep going. A red rebel, of course, the one being played. We do have Portal Mall, a Raid Plunder Run, Overloop. So, Blue Fate for C, Lead the Charge, Bullseye Razor, Stir the Aether Wind, we take cover, and our foil would be a nice salvage shot. We have about six to seven packs to go. Let's see if we can get anything more spicy. So we do have a foresight, Nauru Glove, Spellblade Assault, Life for a Life, Oath of the Arc Knight Foil. So let's see what do we have here in the next one. Another Red Rebel, interestingly, it is always in the front of the pack. So we do have a combination note, 
a red reduce to rune chant and a foil throttle so we do have uh, five more packs to go let's see if we can get another majestics another majestic would be nice a plunderang a high octane as our majestic really nice just as we asked for and that's it for the pack and then let's go to the next one let's go to the next one we are looking at a contraband Narrowed Hood, Absorb in Eater, Paddle to the Metal, and our foil would be a Common Foil, which is a Salvage Shot. Vigorash, excellent card to have in a Runeblade deck. Um, Foresight, Aether Spindle, Aether Sink. Reduce to Rune Chan Foil. Really nice. Last two packs. So this is our second last pack. Do have Enchanting Melody, a Red Plunder Run, and our foil would be a common Rich Rider Shot. One final pack. Let's hope for something good. Foresight, come to fight, Whisper of the Oracle, Moon Wish, Brace of Belief. Our first rare would be an Aether Spindle. And the one behind would be another rare, which is a Take Cover. Let's take a look at our foil. It's a common foil hamstring shot. That's it guys, it's, that's it. that's pretty much our pool. So we have three, um, four super rares, um, three majestics, one L, and then a rainbow for a narrowed hood, which is, I think is a, I would consider this above average pool. This is excellent because of the uh, grasp of the Arc Knight. Thank you guys very much for watching. Even though Arcane Rising is out of print, I guess, um, People will be uh, trying to get the sing their, their hands on the singles. So do try to get a few boxes if you are if you guys are into uh, Runeblade. Uh, maybe you guys play some Azalea the Ranger or things like that. So grab a box or two just to crack, you know, since it is going to be out of print. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one. Bye.